Hey guys, welcome back to my channel once again. How are you all? Hope you all are doing good. So, welcome back to my channel once again with another new topic. Today we are going to discuss regarding the MCQs on virology. So, before starting the video, I would like to request you to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. So, now let's move on to our today's video. So, next our first question is which of the following is best to describe about viruses so some of the characteristics features of our viruses we have to know so from that characteristics the question arises that which of the following is the best describe about viruses option a facultative intracellular parasites option b protein core surrounded by nucleic acid option c contain uh, double or single stranded dna or rna option d main opposition from humoral immunity so your right answer is answer C that is contain both double or single stranded DNA or RNA. Next moving on to our second question which of the following describes about virus but not about the bacteria. So some of the characteristics which describes about virus but not about the bacteria. What are they? So your option 1 option A undergo binary fission option B relatively large in size option C replicates with host mechanism and option D can replicate without without host so your right answer is answer C replicate with host mechanism so this is the one which differentiate viruses from the bacteria viruses will they will get they will go on replicating with their host mechanisms okay friends next moving on to our third question so which is true about capsids of virus they are number of capsids to the virus so which is true about the capsid option a carries the genetic material option b self assembles option c icosahedral form has variable size and option d helical form has a defined set of subunits so what is the true about capsids option b is true that is they are self assembles then next our fourth question virus spikes are commonly associated with which of the following virus spikes will be there in the structure when we, when you see the virus structure there you will find the spikes so that are commonly associated with which of the following option a non enveloped viruses option b glycoprotein option c lipids from the host cell membrane option d inability to cause hemagglutination so your right answer is answer b there the virus spikes they will be commonly associated with glycoprotein so your right answer is option b glycoproteins moving on to our fifth question prions are best describes as which of the following prions option a cannot replicate without a helper virus option b contain nucleic acid surrounded by infectious protein capsids option c susceptible to proteolytic enzyme and option d protein similar to that of normal cell so the right answer is answer d protein similar to that of the normal cells proteins that are similar to that of the normal cells is what they are uh, prions their prions are best describe or the proteins which are similar to that of the normal cells next moving on to our sixth question which of the following describes the chronic phase of viral infection chronic phase of viral infection so they are not asking acute phase they are asking chronic phase option a caused by dna virus option b caused by rna virus option c affects competent immune system and option d viral particles are not present so your right answer is it is caused by rna virus friends chronic phase is nothing but it's a slow infective phase so it will be caused by rna virus if it is in a form of acute phase then it will be can caused by the dna virus next moving on to our seventh question which of the following is true about enterovirus option a entry replication and tissue tropism are at the same site option b enter at one side and cause disease and spread option c causes equal symptoms in children and adult and option d none of the above so the right answer about the enterovirus is they enter at the one site and cause disease and they spread the disease so your option b is the right answer moving on to our eighth question during hematogenous spread which of the following is true option a bacteria spread through blood then replicate option b can be asymptomatic option c never have pro prodromal symptoms and option d b and c so your right answer is answer b 
can be asymptomatic means you, you do not have any kinds of sin, uh, symptoms in this hematogenous spread moving on to our ninth question interferons are best described by which of the following interferons option a beta interferons produced by leukocytes option b induced by viruses only option c inhibit protein synthesis mechanism option d gamma interferons are induced by fibroblast and t cells so your right answer is answer c inhibit protein synthesis mechanism interferons they will be inhibiting the protein synthesis mechanism moving on to our 10th question which of the following inhibits early steps of viral infection and helps to prevent the reinfection option a cmi option b antibody response option c interferons and option d none of the above so friends the right answer is answer b antibody <coughs> response so so friends here what they are asking they are asking about the early steps of viral replication and helps to prevent the reinfection uh, so here the cmi stands for cell mediate immunity okay friends moving on to our 11th question which of the following is double stranded dna virus option a picornaviridae option b paramyxoviridae option c parvoviridae and option d polyoma viridae so your right answer is answer d polyoma viridae moving on to our 12th question which of the following is a single stranded rna viridae option a toga viridae option b rio viridae option c papilloma viridae and option d hepadno viridae so your right answer is toga viridae moving on to our 13th question which type of immunity is most responsible for fighting viral infection so uh, regarding immunity whole chapter we will be discussing in the immunity chapter uh, so now we have to go through for viral infection which type of immunity is most responsible for fighting with that viral infection option a humoral immunity option b cell mediated immunity option c innate immunity and option d all the above so for viral infection cell mediate immunity that is option b is useful and they are also responsible for fighting with the viral infections moving on to our 14th question how are viruses differ from bacteria so when you learn the difference between bacteria and virus then you can easily answer the question that the viruses will be diff how the viruses will be differ from the bacteria option a viruses do not replicate by binary fission option b viruses are smaller in size option c viruses are obligate intracellularly and option d both a and b so your right answer is answer uh, answer d both a and b viruses that do not replicate by binary fission and they are smaller in size okay they are very uh, i think they are around only the large size of virus is around 20 nanometer so these they are also in the small in size moving on to our 15th question which of the following best describe the varicella zoster vir vaccine varicella virus vaccine option a killed vaccine option b life attenuated vaccine option c component vaccine and option d there is no vaccine for varicella zoster so friends the right answer is answer b life attenuated vaccine varicella zoster is what life attenuated vaccine that is answer b so friends these are the part one questions from the virology so hope you like it and if you want any virology topic to be uh, to be gated in the video to you want to get that video on that particular topic please comment in the comment section box uh, I'll try to update you and hope you like it. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.